Hello, humanity, and welcome to the Turtle Moose Podcast. And happy Turtle Tuesday to you. You are listening to the very first episode of the Turtle Moose Podcast. What is the Turtle Moose Podcast? It's the thoughts and feelings interpretations of Dr. Possum Head Jones, collected in frequencies gobbled up by a giant turtle, swimming through the cosmos of its own creation. Still confused? You bet you are. But know this, even in the face of all of that, the turtle moves. And so do you. With consciousness came choice, or free will, as it appears in the vibrational energies that frame the three-dimensional world, and so populates the physical space or geometry of complex bonds and biology within chemical reactions, which are shadow representations of four-dimensional functions, as we see as articulations within three-dimensional means. Those things are bound by light and by it, and so such beings are bound by light's limitations. And so, to occupy the space within light would mean to operate without time, the four-dimensional frame, and so must operate solely in the now, unless these beings can transcend their base... Got your 
is almost gone and the weed is shit. I'm watching reruns and reboots regurgitating. And there's a hen in the oven. I'm lathering with butter that waits atop the stove in a ceramic mug with flowers on it. I'm lathering it every 15 minutes or more, I forget the time. But it's cooking well, and the air tastes wet and tart, but that's possibly the wine. And I'm smoking cigarettes so I can bat down the hunger. Cause the hen must last a week. And the baby's crying, not here, but in reruns. So I check the oven again, and butter the hen again. Hear it crackle, hear it pop. And the air tastes bitter, but that might be the drink. It's Robert Mondavi, her favorite, and it's gone. But the rerun is good, and the shit weed is kicking in. The hen is crackling and popping on top of the stove now, so it's a good night. Good enough better than most. That's what you are, a hostage.
His young daughter went down to the slaughter to help her poor piggy escape. She packed her belongings, her blankets, and drawings so the piggy would know that it's safe. But on her way down, she met her a clown who was laughing and smiling and gay. He told her of wonders, such beautiful thunders of clapping on lookers would pay. The clown made a sound, the curtain went down, her poor piggy was on display. She saw the onlookers all grinning and toothless with money and fistful dismay. But along came the farmer to find his young daughter, to find it was already too late. He found her belongings, her blankets and drawings, he found the poor piggy's remains. Just experienced the very first episode of the Turtle News Podcast. Praise Bob. Tune in next Turtle Tuesday for another installment of the Turtle News Podcast. And remember, the turtle moves, and so do you.